All right. This story sounds like a piece of fiction. Six federal agents storm a woman's home to take her SUV. The reason? It might pollute the earth? Joining us right now is that woman, Jennifer Brinkley, who had the audacity to buy a Land Rover. Jennifer, tell, set yeah. the scene for us because I want people out there to understand that I'm telling a true story. I know. It's sad. I, um, I have a Land Rover Defender. It's a 1985. And um, it was parked in our carport and six law enforcement agencies, um, vehicles and Homeland Security pulled up and asked me if I had a Land Rover and seized it. They took basically. it from your house. What reason did they give you? Um, they weren't sure because the, the case was sealed at that point. But they told me they thought it might be over the Clean Air Act. Really? Did it pass inspection? Yes. Oh, yes. It passed inspection. I had a title for it. Insurance. Well, no, I shouldn't say passed inspection because old cars don't have to be inspected. But I had um, done enough work to take it up to the level where it would have passed an inspection. But just to show you how out of date their information was, I understand that they had the previous owner's name on the warrant because that car had to be seized. Oh, you we're going back four owners. So they went back four owners and finally caught up yes. with the car four owners later. Correct. Where is the car Crazy. today? Um, your guess is as good as mine. They won't tell you? No. What are you going to do? Um, it, I think it's been moved three times. What am I going to do? Well, we're fighting it. We're trying to get the cars back. There were 40 C's that day um, all over the United States. And the, re and, and the, um, and the people that showed up, they were DHS? D yes, yes, and and local law enforcement. What is your reaction to this, Jennifer? I mean, it's you sound almost in disbelief as you explain it to me. Um, my reaction is I'm sad because I owned the car and it is just an iconic car. Um, my, it, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm in disbelief because it's gone. And I'm, I'm surprised that somebody can come in and take your property. Surprised? I didn't think that we lived. It's outrageous. Yes, and you, you know, you're outrageous. quoted as saying that you, know, you always felt so, pride to, so proud to be in this country. Your dad's a veteran. What is your reaction Correct. now? What would he say? Oh, my father, uh, he would tell me to fight it and try to get my car back that he fought in a war to protect our property so we could live in a free country. And um, I think that was the saddest thing for me because I realized that everything my father fought for didn't right. exist anymore. So it's scary. It, it's scary when it happens right. to you on a personal level. Jennifer Brinkley, thanks so much. And by the way, how Land ironic, Rover. it's a Land Rover. Nothing stops a Land Rover, so someday that car is going to come right back to you. Those things are indestructible. The tractor. Yes, yeah. uh, it's true. Jennifer Brinkley, thanks so much. Sorry this happened. We'll Thank track you. it, and hopefully you have a good story, a good ending to this. I hope so. Thank you so much. All right.